this group another strip. This field is a stockpile. It's been rested since we did a tip graze on it back early spring before we started this total grazing. I think it was some part in April, first part of April we were in here. So we are November 25th right now. So six, seven months rest. And there's quite a bit of forage out here. Pretty thick stuff, mostly fescue. Got some other grasses out here as well. Ew. Eating grass? No, um, cows. Cows eat grass? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, no grass. Yeah, it's yucky. You won't like it. There's a fence line right over there. We brought these this group in here Friday. Today is Monday. They've been in here a couple days. Gave them a little bigger area to start out with, and now we're strip grazing. Making our gonna make sort of a wheel circle, half circle down and around. There's a water point down there at the center of the field to the north there's a above ground water line three quarter inch with a i brought the 300 gallon tank out for this group and it's been doing pretty good keeping up with them but math wise this group's Roughly 145 to 150,000 pounds. And they've been getting around half an acre a day, maybe a little less. So you figure 150 animal units and it takes them two days to eat an acre. That's 300 cow days. On this stockpiled forage which is pretty good and we have been somewhat dry so we're able to harvest a good bit of it come on Wesley let's go see behind the cows <clears throat> Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on them cow days. I'm pretty sure I did that right. 150,000 pounds divided by 1,000 is 150. And they're getting around half an acre a day. So two days to eat an acre. 150 times two is 300. What? 300 cow days on this stockpiled forage. Manure pats are looking good. Getting a pretty good harvest on it. And good, good utilization of the forage and good manure and urine distribution as well. So doing some quick math, there's 25 acres in this field. If they're given, as long as the weather's somewhat decent and we don't get too wet and puggy, 25 acres times an acre for two days, that's 50 days we should be in here. To be conservative, 
I'd say we could get 30, 40 days out of it. And we still got a decent bit of this side of the farm left over here. So doing pretty good, almost to December. Shouldn't have to feed hay anytime soon on all the groups, unless it snows. And it's gotta be because of this total grazing. Because when I look at pictures of last year at this time, I mean, it's just no comparison. The amount of forage that was in the pastures and I was already starting to unroll some bales last year so I wouldn't run out of grass. So, <clears throat> and with this thick forage, you've got to keep them tight, keep your stock density up. Otherwise, they'll just waste the majority of it. You got to keep them tight so they don't foul any more than they do. And make them clean it up. That way they get the protein at the top and the fiber at the bottom on these cool season forages, mostly fescue. And get a good harvest on it, followed by a long rest period. These fields that have been stockpiled over here for most of the growing season have had plenty of time to dig their roots down and establish themselves. And yeah, there might be, there's some dead thistles out amongst here. But since we didn't graze it, let it, let the grasses establish themselves and recover. What I've been noticing in these stockpiled fields is there aren't near the amount of rosette thistles on the ground. If there are any, the cows ate them. But there's a good thick stand of grass. There's the water tank down there. Got a quick coupler down there. Because this is a rented field. And them dead ones, you can see them out there amongst the cows. The cows just knock them over. And even them green ones they'll pick at. <clears throat> but this group's getting moved daily. Keep an eye on their gut fill. probably an old ragweed plant there was a decent bit of ragweed out here in this field too it's all dead now but I guarantee you if we were to keep tip grazing these fields they'd turn into if they weren't already turned into a weedy mess from what I've seen with that tip grazing unless you're gonna bush hog behind the cows in every field or spray. Cows just go out and eat all the good stuff and they leave the junk behind. They eat what they wanna eat. When you non-selective graze, you make them eat everything. A higher percentage of it, followed by a long rest period. And Unless you keep getting rain with tip grazing, you're gonna get around your farm too quick from what I've seen and start overgrazing plants that aren't fully recovered. And that's a train wreck waiting to happen. And I don't see how you can run near the stocking rate doing that way either. But yep. Cows are doing good. Look at 
that thistle. <clears throat> Pats are looking good. That stuff is, I'd say at least two foot tall, maybe three foot in spots. Got a good mixture of green with the brown. Make for a good manure pat. But yep. Just go. Go away. All right, we're going. The water tank. Water hose, plastic quick coupler, and this water line goes along this fence line. I think it's 1,600 feet or so. I marked it off on Google Earth. Several quick couplers along it to water both sides of the fence. And this field out here.